Haven't been following China's space program lately? That's fine, we all get busy. 15 new episodes of Arrested Development, the Cicada Invasion, Prancer Sizing. This launch will mark the fifth Chinese manned mission to space since 2003, when they became the third country to successfully send a crewed mission to space. But they have bigger plans. How about a space station? The Chinese Space Station, or CSS, is expected to launch around 2020. It is going to be a third-generation space station comparable to the International Space Station and Mir. The CSS is part of Project 921 of the Chinese Space Program. The 92 marks the year, while the 1 means it is the first long-term national project started that year. You know, in case you're wondering how the Chinese government names their projects. Three other more basic space stations will be testing various technologies needed for and leading up to the launch of CSS. And each of these will be called Xiangong, which means Heavenly Palace. Tiangong-1, aka Target Vehicle, was launched in September 2011. It has been used to demonstrate orbital rendezvous and docking. I feel like those are kind of important for space stations. Tiangong will be deorbited later this year, but not before it is visited by its third spacecraft, the aforementioned Shenzhou-10. Tiangong-2, aka Space Laboratory, is expected to launch around the same time Tiangong-1 is deorbited later in 2013. It will house a crew of three for 20 days. Tiangong-3, aka Space Station, is expected to launch in 2015 with 40 days of life support for a crew of three. It'll be used to test regenerative life support technology and verify orbital replenishment of propellant and air. As if a regular old space station wasn't enough, the Chinese plan to make theirs green. Show-offs. Improved solar cells will generate power that is stored by improved battery storage systems. The space station will also utilize the latest in recycling technologies. Oxygen will be extracted from water waste and urine, and carbon dioxide and other human waste will also be recycled. Hmm, yuck. Initially, the space station will consist of a core module and two laboratory units, but additional modules will be able to be added as necessary. Kind of like Legos. Really expensive Legos. The space station is scheduled to be completed around the same time as the International Space Station is set to be retired. In addition to the space station, China is also planning an unmanned mission to the moon and a lunar rover. But despite all of their impressive work, the Chinese space program is missing one thing. I'm Kagan. From New York City, this is Rocket Boom. This is ground control to Major Tom.